We are very good morning students and this is our regular lecture and the subject code is 7MGE3C2 and the topic heading of the subject is old dressing and this will be lecture 1 and the topic which I will cover is the introduction to old dressing and the content in this is the introduction to old dressing and the properties of minerals that commonly utilized in ore beneficiation process so these are the two headings that we will try to cover in today's class so to begin with let's get into the heading what is an ore so an ore is a naturally occurring solid material from which a metal can be extracted profitably so this is the very precise definition for the ore in which they used to explain that if in a rock you are separating any valuable material that is especially a metal with a profit then such a rock is called as the ore say for example hematite is a ore of iron okay but ore when mined from a country rock contains ore mineral and a gag mineral so it is not in a native state it will get mixed with some other unwanted materials that we used to call it as the gang mineral and these gang minerals are commercially worthless that surrounds or sometimes even mix with the ore mineral and according to the ratio of the ore to the gang mineral the ore grade is fixed so according to the concentration of ore as well as the unwanted worthless gang minerals the ore will be red if the ore consists of a large amount of metallic content then it will be a high grade and if it is consist of large amount of commercially worthless gang mineral then it will be of low grade you got it right so this is a ore so ore is a metallic mineral deposit that can be extracted with profitable and generally ore will not come in native state it will be mixed with some other unwanted worthless gang minerals and according to the ratio between the ore and the gang the ore is graded right so this is what the generalized definition for the ore and the next is what is the dressing of ore so here we are getting into our actual topic dressing of ore the ore dressing or beneficiation both are same meaning is the process by which an ore is improved in grade so earlier we said the grade of the ore is decided by the uh, ratio of metallic mineral and the gang mineral right so the dressing of ore means improving the grade right so that produces the product can be used in metallurgical industry so what they are trying to explain is the process by which the removal of unwanted that is the gang minerals is called the ore dressing so that the ore can be used in the industries for their use the third question is how to dress a ore so what are the process involved in ore dressing so there are several methods to adopt it for the purpose of ore mill or dressing so there may be a lot and lot of methods each take advantage of some peculiar physical mechanical and chemical property or the combination of properties of the ore mineral so this ore dressing process is uh, adopted according to the physical or sometimes chemical or even mechanical or even sometimes combined property of the ore mineral to separate it out from the gang minerals and uh, how it will be the process may ranges from simple sorting that is just by seeing and separating that is called simple sorting so that is also comes under the ore dressing just by seeing and sorting that is classifying it with the with the hand can be one of the ore dressing process that is the simplest process and even sometimes it may lead to a complex process that leads in lead copper and zinc etc so there are so many steps in a complex process to separate out a particular mineral so these are the two main varieties that is a two these are the two different extent of old dressing maybe a simple hand sorting may be useful for old dressing sometimes or even it may in, uh, be involved in a complex process like this okay so i think you have got it what is a ore what is ore dressing and uh, how to dress a ore these are three main headings we had covered here and the next thing, thing is the sum of the properties of mineral that are commonly utilized in ore beneficiation process so what are the properties that the people that is 
that were used in the old racing process that is what we are going to see the first and foremost thing is the particle size so just a screening is sufficient like you can see there is a screen here that is say somewhat a sieve shaker it is like that so according to size it is classified so maybe some molds may be coarser in size or some sometimes it may be finer in size so by separating with the help of a sieve shaker you can do this so that is the very first property which is used for the ore dressing process and the second one is the cleavage or fracture say for example there will be some minerals which used to have a clear cleavage or uh, some set of uh, say peculiar type of fractures so if you see that by, uh, by its appearance itself you can separate it from the gang mineral and such a thing such a property that we used will come under this thing that is cleavage and fracture and according to the cleavage and fracture the grain will look like a, a rounded or jigsaw or anything right and the third thing is the specific gravity and according to the specific gravity a mineral may sink or float and if it floats it may have very low specific gravity and if it sinks then it have may it may have some high specific gravity so some minerals if say for example there is a mixture of uh, say gold and uh, some gang metal which is light so especially if specific gravity of gold is high so definitely it will sink and the other mineral whatever it is the gang metal if it is low then it will simply have uh, a different height that it may float even so you can separate it right and the fourth one is the magnetic susceptibility that is the separation with the help of magnetic property so there is also a image in below which shows there is a fine powder which is passed over a conveyor belt and in the conveyor belt there is a magnetic head roller which rolls and that also attracts the magnetic material towards the conveyor belt and the non magnetic mineral that is just shifted out and thrown on the non magnetic portion so this is how the magnetic separation works and the next thing is the surface energy that is few elements that is few type of minerals may join together and form a clog like a what do you call a froth or something like this it may form and such a type of thing will leads to the upliftment of some specific kind of minerals that you can separate very easily so according to the surface energy it, it may float or it may sink so that is also you can use for the ore dressing process and the next is the fluorescence and there is example called uranium so by observing an ultraviolet rays or any other range of light it will give light and such a property is called fluorescence and you can simply find out and mine out uranium with the help of this fluorescence property and the next thing is the hardness actually what happens when a rock while washing the hardest material will stay and the soft material may run away by this way we can also separate the ore and gang mineral so this is also included here and the next thing is the volatility that is conversion of solid to gas without a change of a liquid phase and there is a example called uh, the example is the sulfur and the next thing is the solubility that is there are some salts which will dissolve in water and others may not like for example if you have a potassium salt with the quartz together the quartz will not dissolve in water but the potassium will dissolve in water by this way you can separate both the potassium as well as the uh, quartz and the next is the color which is very useful for the hand picking and there is a example because there are few minerals which may have a peculiar color which is quite easy for us to identify and separate and such a physical property can be used in ore dressing and the next thing is the electric conductivity that is electrostatic separation there are few minerals which may be good in electric conductivity and uh, the gang may be bad in electric conductivity conductivity so it can be separated with the help of this and this here is a basic model in electrostatic separator is given in this figure and the next thing is the interfacial angle the interfacial energy so to break a uh, mineral it may take lot and lot of energy and such a thing for example diamond is there which have a very high interfacial energy it is quite very hard for you to break a diamond right and the next is the amalgamation 
so dissolving any metal with the help of mercury will come under the setting it is amalgamation so they are given example like if you have a gold and some other gang mineral what happen when you dis- when you put it in a mercury the gold will dissolve in mercury and the gang will not so by this way you can simply separate out the gold from the gang mineral so in our today's class what we have seen is that we know what is uh, ore and we know what is ore dressing and the third is how the ore dressing is taking place all the three things we know and what also we know is the properties which are useful for the ore beneficiation process that is the ore dressing i hope you understand this class if you have still any doubt you just mention it in the comment section or you can ask me in the class itself uh, thank you